Hey there, good morning, Arizona. Guess what? The first meeting of the book club since social distancing happened last night. Conveniently located well, in my house upstairs <laughs> near the library. Inconveniently, though, all by myself, but with plenty of readers joining in on Facebook during a live discussion of The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Overwhelmingly, your our readers rated Taylor Jenkins Reid's novel with five stars. So that was super cool. Lots to say about this very interesting book. So now it is time to announce our next read, and it is one that the book buyer over Changing Hands recently recommended. It's titled How Not to Die Alone by Richard Roper. Andrew lives a very sheltered, lonely life until this woman, Peggy, walks in and helps open his eyes to like all the possibilities of life that he hasn't really been open to. And it is just sweet and heartwarming. Sheltered, lonely. Oh, that sounds right, right about now. <laughs> How Not to Die Alone is the debut from Richard Roper, and uh, I think it will be particularly timely, and it is supposed to be heartwarming and sweet, so uh, we're looking forward to that connection and getting started on this. I want to remind you, even though life is crazy right now, remember Changing Hands is still shipping books and are stocked with this particular novel, and they are ready for book club buyers, so uh, if you mention the book club when you... Uh, call to order. They can ship to you at a discount. So don't forget to mention Olivia's Book Club. And uh, let's head on over to April, who is at her home studio this morning and uh, mm -hmm. dipped into the conversation last night. Yeah. I know, like uh, me, you've been saying it's been hard to focus on reading or focus really mm -hmm. as much on anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is so true, but then at the same time, it is such a good just kind of escape from everything. So I really did like your book the, uh, selection this past month. And yeah, it was a nice little escape every day to just take a couple minutes and uh, escape to a different world, uh, as we often like with fiction. So looking forward to that next pick, Olivia.